increase production, how do we do that? The, the way we do that is that by truly understanding and managing the business by the key production statistics within the business. And we refer to that uh, through this management system as management by statistics. So it kind of begs the question of why you know, should a business be managed by those production statistics? And you know, what's the real reason behind that? And the, the simplicity of it is production is what spells the difference between success or failure in any business you know, or really any organization. And it doesn't matter how large or how small that organization is. And I want to emphasize that because one of the things that I've heard when trying to, to implement this Management by Statistics program in smaller businesses is this concept of, oh, we're a small business, we can't really do that. That's for big businesses. But the reality is production is what's going to make or break your success, whether you're a, a two-person operation or a 200,000-person operation. It really doesn't change. There's a, a piece of this that, again, whether you're a large organization or a small organization, that we all deal with. And we deal with this consideration that many employees have, that they are trading hours for dollars. Meaning that, you know, if you think about how your employees look at their, their job and the compensation and the relationship to, that they have to it, it typically is very closely tied to time. If I show up at X time in the morning when, the, when I'm supposed to be there and I stay in the office for the day or if I'm a technician or a salesperson, I'm out in the field for the day, but I'm, I'm quote unquote there working from, you know, let's say 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. By virtue of the fact that I delivered myself to the job and I was physically there, I am now entitled to a paycheck. And that's that concept of we're trading hours for dollars. But obviously, as a business owner, one thing that we understand very clearly is it doesn't matter how many hours somebody puts in. What matters is what gets produced, what gets sold, what transactions we do with our customers, how, how money comes in the door, and then when that money comes in the door, how well we manage that so that we are actually able to retain some at the end of the day so that less money goes out than comes in and we're left with a profitability. But there's production in all parts of the business that are driving that. It's not simply if everybody showed up on time and stayed for the entire day, everything would be great. So we have to look at what can we do to really change this viewpoint from the standpoint of our employees and our staff so that they slowly or quickly, you know, as quickly as you can do it, get the concept that what they produce in the time that they're there is really going to be the indication and that's what's going to give you the, the difference between success or failure.